In this video, we'll delve into osteoarthritis, its conventional treatments, and how red light therapy or photobiomodulation provides a promising alternative. So stay tuned if you or someone you know suffer from osteoarthritis and are looking for maybe more innovative ways to manage the disease and maybe even reverse it. Now, osteoarthritis, commonly re referred to as wear and tear arthritis, impacts millions by gradually eroding the cartilage at the ends of bones and joints. And this degeneration typically affects the knees, the hips, the hands, and the spine, causing pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. And the primary contributors to osteoarthritis include genetic factors, maybe obesity, past injuries, or continuous joint strain. Like if you're a ball player and constantly, you know, abuse your knees, you might end up with osteoarthritis because, you know, the cushioning just wears down over time. However, I also firmly believe that, like most other chronic inflammatory conditions, and osteoarthritis is one of them, lifestyle factors play a critical role in the development of the disease. And by that I mean diet, sleep, stress management, and the ex exposure to environmental toxins. And I've talked about all of those topics at length on the channel, on my podcast, as well as on the blog. <coughs> so check that out. I'm going to link down some resources uh, that talk specifically about inflammatory conditions and what you can do to avoid them by simply making some lifestyle changes. For this video in particular, however, we're going to talk about photobiomodulation or red light therapy and how it can help to augment your lifestyle changes and potentially reverse some of that osteoarthritis that you might have and some of that worn, regrow some of that worn out cartilage tissue. Now, traditional treatments primarily focus on symptom alleviation, like so much else in Western medicine. You know, instead of addressing the root cause, we just manage the symptoms and kind of get you, you know, chugging along without really fixing anything. And, you know, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication or drugs, NSAIDs, are a very popular treatment modality to reduce the pain and inflammation. While cortisone injections provide rapid pain relief for acute symptoms. Physical therapy obviously is important. You know, it helps improve flexibility and muscle strength around joints. However, these methods largely neglect the progression of the disease and the restoration of cartilage. And that's ultimately what the goal should be. Red light therapy, also sometimes referred to as photobiomodulation or PBM, harnesses specific wavelengths of light to penetrate the skin and the tissue and stimulate cellular repair in the underlying tissues. It's a non-invasive approach that enhances tissue repair and reduces inflammation at, a, at the molecular level supporting the health of joint cells. Now, when I say inflammation or reduce inflammation, what I mean is reduce chronic inflammation because acute inflammation, on the other hand, is a very important aspect of tissue healing. You don't want to suppress acute inflammation. And that's unfortunately what NSAIDs do. They suppress all inflammation and that actually gets in the way of the healing process. So what you want to do is leave the acute inflammation intact, but reduce chronic inflammation. And that's exactly what red light therapy or photobiomodulation can do. Now, the benefits of red light therapy for osteoarthritis are manifold. Firstly, it significantly decreases chronic inflammation, not acute inflammation, which is directly tied to pain and joint dysfunction. And this reduction in inflammation can lead to substantial improvements in joint mobility and overall quality of life. Because ultimately, your chronic inflammation is what's causing all the symptoms of your osteoarthritis issue. Secondly, enhanced blood flow from PBM therapy helps deliver crucial nutrients and oxygen to joint tissues, accelerating the healing process and facilitating the removal of metabolic waste. And this is Super important because you need nutrients, you need oxygen, you need oxygenated blood flow to the area that you want to heal. And at the same time, you want to remove any metabolic waste that can gum up those, process, those healing processes. And PBM has been shown in many studies. I'm going to link some of that down below to do exactly that. Increase oxygenated blood flow and speed up waste removal. And that's crucial for the healing process. Moreover, red light therapy boosts collagen production, and that's vital for rebuilding and strengthening the cartilage within joints. Collagen is essential for maintaining joint integrity and elasticity, helping to cushion the bones and absorb shocks. And lastly, red light therapy has been shown to stimulate mitochondrial activity in cells, increasing energy production and promoting faster cell repair and regeneration. In other words, 
Red light therapy can make cells work more effectively by producing more energy. And the more energy a cell produces, the better it works and the better everything works and the faster your healing process um, goes. So this can lead then to healthier joint tissues and slowing of the cartilage degeneration process. And more than that, really, there are now studies out that have clearly demonstrated how red light therapy can tip the balance between tissue degeneration and tissue creation. Because if you think about it, cells in our body um, are constantly being removed. You know, they degrade, they get removed, and new cells are being created. You know, and there is a balance to that. And usually in a healthy in healthy tissue, the rate of degeneration is lower than the rate of cell creation. So you always repair whatever is damaged and you might even build, you know, more muscle tissue, whatever the case might be, you know, stronger joints, stronger cartilage tissue, etc. Especially if you work out and you, you know, expose your body to positive stressors like exercises. The problem with when chronic inflammation happens in the context of osteoarthritis in particular, that balance is tipped. You degrade more tissue than you create. And that's a problem because that means over time, all of your cartilage tissue goes away. And at some point, you know, you're, you're bone on bone. And that's not a good thing. And you might need surgery. Now, with red light therapy, it can, again, tip that balance. So your body creates more cells than it removes. And that can lead to the regeneration of cartilage tissue. And this is amazing because in the past, we thought, well, once the cartilage tissue is gone, it's gone. There is nothing you can do to get it back other than, you know, implants maybe. But that's actually not the case with red light therapy. You can, and the, unfortunately, the problem is this is not a, you know, a process that takes a few weeks. This can take months or even years. And I just imagine how long it took for your, your bad knee, you know, to get to where it is today. It needs a lot of time to regrow the cartilage tissue and get back. But it's possible if you're consistent with your treatment. So now the question is, well, how, how do you go about red light therapy? You know, what device do you need? Now, I have tested as part of my uh, for my blog and for the YouTube channel several red light therapy devices for different use cases. And one of my, f if not my favorite one for particular injuries, joint injuries, soft tissue injuries, is the Kinion Move Plus Pro. It's a clinically great device that uses a combination of lasers and LEDs to emit red and near-infrared light at the appropriate frequencies and strength to deliver all of the benefits I've mentioned in this video. And I have a separate review and you know, on the blog as well as on the YouTube channel. I'm going to link all of that down below. So check it out to learn more about it. But the bottom line is that the Kenyan Move Plus Pro was actually first named Knee Plus because it was specifically developed to help people with knee issues, osteoarthritis, torn ACLs, you know, and anything in between. But as, you know, users started using the Knee Plus, they discovered that it actually works anywhere in the body, you know, for any joints. I've used it for my shoulder. I've used it for soft tissue issues on my on my back. I'm using it for when I get stung by bees. You know, I'm a beekeeper and get stung all the time. And I tend to flare up and swell up incredibly after each bee sting. But if I use the Move Plus Pro, as the name is now, right away, then I get immediately sufficient blood flow and some sufficient waste removal in the affected area that I never swell up. And that's just a very visual way of, of understanding how the device works. And again, it's a combination of lasers and LEDs, so it provides a very focused wavelength that can penetrate tissue deeply down into your knee joints and deliver all of the benefits I've mentioned. So check that out. That's by far my favorite red light therapy device. It's super effective. My, fam my entire family uses it. My mom has used it when she broke her bone in her foot. I've used it. My wife has used it. We have all used it. It works. And it's by far the best red light therapy device, wearable device for osteoarthritis, in particular in your knees, but in also in other joints. Now, in conclusion, photobiomodulation offers more than just symptom management. That's super important. Treating the symptoms might be okay temporarily, but you really want to attack the root cause of the problem. And that's exactly what PBM or photobiomodulation does. It targets the underlying causes of osteoarthritis, providing a holistic approach to improving joint health. Now, if you're contemplating red light therapy, discuss it with a healthcare provider and see how you can integrate it effectively into your treatment plan. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, stick around, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.